We are headed to Walmart. They are back. We're gonna nail their ass again. We want to come to this town and run out of gas. Well, I've got a solution for you. It's called You Are Going On Video. I've gotten, God, my phone hasn't stopped beeping in the last 10 minutes. I've gotten so many messages saying there's not just one back, there's two of them down there now. Imagine that, two people running out of gas again at Walmart, driving campers, huh, gosh, I, I don't know, I'll tell you what, if you own a camper, you should probably sell it right now because chances are you're going to run out of gas somewhere, I mean, and it's going to be Walmart. Well, let me tell you guys something, I just wrote big letters on the back of my vehicle, panhandler alert, or panhandler ahead, not out of gas scam big letters back of my vehicle so I'm gonna go park as close as I can to them and warn as many people as I can that this is bullshit these people are not legit oh and it's not this guy right here Mary says she's at Walmart right now I, I'm, I'm just furious. Here's one right here on the left. You know, you know what? I can't really hide it because uh, I do uh, have it written on the back of my vehicle, but I'm going to make sure they see me. Because I know they're all working together. I know they are. Every single one of these guys are all working together. Guys, we're working it pretty tough today, huh? Passing Who are you with? Passing through. Yeah, right. Passing through. Sure you are. Sure you are. They think it's funny and laughing. They're laughing at my sign because uh, it says out of gas. Now, where are these other little suckers at? Because I heard there's more than just one. Oh, I just... I'm furious. I wonder if that's their camper parked right there. Oh, 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 oh. Look at these guys right here crossing the parking lot, going right to a camper. What does your sign say? Out of gas? Out of gas, of course. So tell me how these campers keep running out of gas. Because yesterday a camper was here out of gas, the day before a camper was out of gas, and the day before that no, a camper honestly, was out of gas. Sir, where are you guys from? I, I hitchhiked from Tennessee. I'm originally from the lower well, peninsula. Where, if, where are the tags on that one from? Idaho. Idaho. I'm going to tell you. I, so we've we had Arizona, Tennessee. Tennessee, now Idaho. All right. And we get out to Oregon, hitchhike the coast, start coming back from, uh, we hit Idaho Falls. We're hitchhiking north toward the boys. This guy picked us up. And he's like, you know, I got some work, you know, I need done on my house. And so I helped him repair his house and he gave me this camper and said everything worked great. I had a few hundred bucks saved up, luckily, because I start going down the road and it starts, you know, sputtering, won't work. I had to take it in. The plugs were bad. The carburetor needed to be rebuilt. And so I dropped everything I could into it. My fiance is pregnant. I'm trying to get to my mother's house in Kalamazoo. Okay. Uh, and honestly, I'm, I'm an army brat. So we're like... I'm not, you know, out here doing drugs or drinking. I'm You're not to connected with the two sitting I up there? I actually picked them up when they were hitchhiking. Okay. I'm just wondering how old I... I yeah, I, I told them if they want to ride with me, they're going to get 20 bucks for gas or I'm leaving them here. Sounds about fair, but it's just... Honestly, about three days ago, we had a camper here from, I want to say, Arizona. Out of gas with the uh, family. Had little kids out here. And uh, as soon as I put them on camera, they jumped in the trailer. I took off out of here, almost falling out. Took off all the way to uh, 300 miles away to the next Walmart. Stopped out, ran out of gas again, of course. The day after that, no, sir, I literally the day after that, no a white funds, guys, guy. No, nothing at all, sir. I'm trying to get yeah, home. Yeah, two days ago, we had a white guy out here. The pickup truck out fishing trip for two weeks, ran out of gas in Minnesota. 
and uh, he tried to bail on me and lose me and after 30 minutes I found him parked in the corner over there hooking up to his camper with his wife out of gas yeah no I'm really just trying to fill up and leave go home I'm just it's weird that campers keep showing up only at Walmart though it's only at Walmart so I don't yeah, know if well, there's a the thing is with the Walmarts is that you can park overnight Right. You know, so like when you're trying to find some place to park a camper, right? You know, it's kind no, of hard right. And find somewhere else, you know, without getting a ticket. So. There's a lot of people in the camping industry are saying the panhandlers are going to ruin it for Walmart, specifically because of this. Because yeah, usually I don't even hold the signs, so I got a guitar in there and I played guitar all day yesterday and didn't make a single dollar. So I'm just trying to get out of here as fast as possible. My phone just keeps. I've heard that. 15 times the last yeah, 10 minutes. Yeah, no, I'm a military brat, sir, and I done told the people trying to film me illegally, dude, and, you know, it's, it's well, kind of messed up. Well, it's kind of in the public, so people yeah, can, Yeah, if but I don't want my face on their videos, it's right. illegal. Well, not under the Constitution. Well, that doesn't matter anymore nowadays. Yeah. Right. <laughs> hey, but sir, like, I'm not a bad person, we're just trying to get the money. Where did you serve at? I personally did not. My father was U.S. Oh, fit. I thought you said that no, you I'm did. I'm an Army brat. Army, okay. Army yeah, brat, my, Both gotcha. my parents were military. Both of them were Army. My mother was an Army medic. My, my father was U.S. Mm. fit in the division, which actually did his basic up here, up north. Okay. You know, What's like, up Calumet? Huh? What's up in Calumet? Mm. Calumet. Did you, you said you were going Kalamazoo. up. Kalamazoo. Kalamazoo. That's Peninsula. downstate. Okay. Yeah. Downstate. Yeah. Over the bridge. Yes, sir. Okay. Anyway, just... I, like I said, I've gotten so I I, I do YouTube. So what are you guys doing? Like I, I do a whole bunch of environmental work. As a matter of fact, I was with the Line Five, bike the line that did the whole Line Five. We biked along the oil line here, yeah. Uh, spreading awareness of the oil line and how it's too old. You know how it's supposed to be replaced about ten years ago, and how the oil companies oh, are yeah. doing it. We put all that up. I got my YouTube page for my music and all my environmental work. What's your YouTube page? Uh, it's Marley Roman. Marley Roman. Yes. I'll look that up later. All right. Thanks. But yeah, no, I, I try to help the community and stuff too when I can or when I run into things that I can do. Um, but right now, my girl is pregnant. I'm just trying to get home and get off the street. Okay. Any luck getting gas money? Uh, I have 50 bucks in my pocket. Okay, well. Okay. Thank you. I, like I said, it's, Iron Mountain is not the place I, I, to panhandle. Yeah, my just whole, to... actually my great-grandfather owned a sawmill here, sir. Like, mm -hmm. uh, right outside of town somewhere. His name is Herschel. And they uh, sawmills have been in my family. But my grandfather was born in Iron Mountain. Like I actually have family ties here, which is mm. why I'm here. So like, okay. I'm not no random traveler. Actually, this town has been in my family. <laughs> I got you. So, yeah, all right. Thank you. No problem, man. Good luck on your travels. Hey, I appreciate you. See ya. I don't think he has any idea that I'm live streaming, and why should I tell him? Anyway, he's got 50 bucks, you know. Yeah, yeah, he said he was an army brat, I understand. I just, uh, you know, I heard army and uh, instantly, you know, just kind of listening, and uh, that's why I asked him again uh, if he ever did serve. I'm looking in my rear view mirror to see where those other two guys went to. I don't see him up there anymore. He's sitting out there now playing the guitar, like, you know, to prove to me that he can. Kind of convenient. People uh, just uh, running out of gas here. I don't know, this is a... These are more white guys. So the two that are sitting back by Tractor Supply, he said he picked up and uh, dropped them off here, told them that uh, if they didn't have gas money, they're uh, not getting a ride home or wherever. He's going downstate, down to Kalamazoo or wherever. And uh, scammers in Walmart, Mason City, Iowa too. I don't know, sitting out here playing guitar right now, I mean, you know what, hey, if, if, if you guys like to hear music and uh, are entertained by music, then you know what, I enjoy people that uh, um, might do that. If you go to, you know, what, Vegas and all the big cities, even New York, uh, 
people perform for money. They don't uh, just sit out there and expect to get it for free. But, uh... I hear ya. Yep. Looks like you just got some new strings. Yes, I did, sir. Actually, it took me three states to find a place to buy new strings. Jim's music right up here on the left. Yeah. No, I uh, actually just hooked up in somewhere in... Where the hell was that? Minnesota? Mm. Minnesota, yeah. We're at some Minnesota. Oh, uh, no, no, Wisconsin. There was a guitar center in Appleton. Mm. That's what it was. Yeah. I'm sorry, man. I get confused with all the states and stuff. Right, <laughs> right. <laughs> was it a PV? It's a Rogue, Rogue. actually. Rogue is really cheap. I'm originally from Kalamazoo, which is Gibson, and I love Gibson just as much as the next guy, but, dude, uh, Rogues are very, a lesser known brand, but they make A grade instruments, mm -hmm. so I always get a Rogue for like 70, 80 bucks at a guitar center, and it does me great. Well, I'll tell you what, the one thing that panhandling will get different is playing a guitar, because all the other ones that sit out here just sit, hold a sign, and that's all they do. Right. So I'll give you that, that little bit of credit, as long as you can, uh, play the guitar and yeah, People brother, pay I for actually turned down music, a few record you know? deals, man. I, I love, you know what my thing about playing music is? I love seeing somebody smile. Right. And taking three minutes out of their life to stop thinking about the bullshit that's going on. I hear every life, musician say that. Yeah, you know, and, and you know, if I can make somebody feel good for three minutes, you know, and that's what it's about for me. I'm about love and peace, man, honestly, not drugs and getting messed up. And, you know, usually I travel, but like I said, my girl's pregnant and I'm finally just going home and I'm... Trying to get a job, and you know, I kind of got a cousin there and doing some woodwork, so. Right. Yeah, man. Like, thank you, man. Like, uh, you want to hear an original? Go ahead. Sounds good, man. Yeah, I appreciate it. But yeah, it's, it's usually what I do is play music, hook up in a bar for a night or two, and then just leave, you know, whatever. But you have a That's great day, a, man. That'll pay them bills faster than you well, know. actually it's ridiculous but it doesn't dude i'll sit here and play for a week and not make a dollar There's and quite a few bars you know if you stopped in town and went to the bars first and introduced and did that maybe you could find a couple to do it for a few nights anyway and right. town to town that's the way people used to do it you know yeah that's what i try to do but now like i said like oh it's three months in advance yeah I've, <laughs> I've gotten so many messages as soon as you set up i have Bing, bing, bing pictures because I've done uh, three YouTube videos in the last four days on people in campers panhandling here, yeah. this very spot. Wow. So then, That's like I said. That's kind of crazy. I came this way because I didn't think anybody else would be up here, you know, and this isn't my family roots type thing, man. Like. That's kind of ridiculous that are way up here. It's not on the way to anywhere, man. I'm from right. Michigan, you know, that's why I'm here. Like. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's pretty nuts. Yeah, dude, it really is, man. Hey, but yeah, I thank you, man, and uh, you have a blessed day, brother. Yeah, take it easy. Dun, da, da. It's not too bad. Any bar owners uh, want to uh, hire him out or something? I mean, you know, it's not too bad. I'd rather see him uh, working somewhere and making a living rather than sitting on the side of the road at Walmart, running out of gas. He said he has 50 bucks in his pocket. Take the 50 bucks and go. Anyway, he is sitting here playing his guitar for anybody that wants to come and listen or... Uh, I guess pay his way to Kalamazoo, Michigan, downstate. Says he was just in Appleton, mm -hmm. Wisconsin. So, uh, anybody uh, from Appleton, Wisconsin that just saw this guy was doing the same thing there. Guys, quit sending me messages. So he's pimping on the other two, right? Yeah, pretty much. Told him that they don't have his fair share. He didn't look at the back of my vehicle yet to see what was written on there, but uh, again, it says panhandler ahead, not out of gas, scam. So, all you gotta do is take another walk, you know, four feet behind me and take a look, so. Oh, agreed, Brittany. Agreed. 
Come on, who is slow here? Every time I uh, set up and do a live stream, somebody ruins it by calling Walmart and telling them they got somebody out here, and then they come out and take them out. You know, like I said, I'd seriously, I'd much rather see a uh, a bar owner somewhere locally say, "Hey, I'll hire this guy for a couple of nights if you'll get the damn out of Walmart." You know, Iron Mountain PD creeping up on the left, right there. K9 unit looks like. Oh yeah. I don't think he needs gas. I really don't. Another Iron Mountain PD unit coming up behind me. Coming down the hill. Oh, I'm not getting nothing. I just like to see how people react now when they see police because there's one to my left looking right at them and there's one coming up behind me nope nope just gonna kick back and relax now they're uh, pulling up next to each other and uh, talking and now he's going over to them Let me just realize that I'm live streaming them. I don't think so. I don't even think he's seen the back of my vehicle yet. Now, I'm not uh, protruding on what he's doing. I'm just sitting here, uh, sitting here observing. I'm pretty sure uh, Iron Mountain PD know full well who I am and what I'm doing. I guarantee you they know. I absolutely guarantee it. Hmm. And it's a drug dog too. I wonder if they'll let the dog, the, uh, the dog out and walk around the car or uh, let him in it. Yeah, guys, again, you know, I started live streaming pretty quick. I didn't really have time to put anything in, no information in, anything. Uh, this is the Iron Mountain, Michigan Walmart. This is the third time I've live streamed a panhandler. Somebody just took a picture of my license plate. Snap. And snap. And I got a picture of their license plate. I just thought that was weird. They just creeped up behind me and took a picture of my license plate. Kansas City tag. Oh. Duh. I know what he took. Okay. I got it now. I understand what they just did. That was funny. They took a picture of the panhandlers in the camper with the police and the back of my van which says panhandler ahead now actually I take it back it just says panhandler across the top panhandler then it says not out of gas scam yeah I agree that probably is pretty funny I should go out there and take a picture of that myself uh, here shortly <laughs> I think it will like I said, guys, I'm just, uh, now I'm in observance mode. 
everybody's right. There's nothing you can do to stop these people. There's nothing you can do to um, to prevent them from doing it. It's totally 100% legal in this town. There's no ordinance in Dickinson County do, that that says anything you can or Iron Mountain. The only th the way we can change this, and I would like to see this, allow, allow them to do it. However, make them get a permit. I think Iron Mountain should charge $200 or maybe $100 a permit to panhandle out in the streets. That way we have an address, we have a name, we have all their information, which would include people, organizations like the Boy Scouts or other organizations that want to come out here. Dave from Gromax uh, uh, had a very, very good suggestion. He would like to set out a table out here next to these people and collect donations for the Copper Country because you all know the Copper Country needs our help more than these people do right now. There are people like this in Petoskey. There are people like this in Sheboygan, Michigan downstate. The people that I just filmed. And I'm going to come back and read all your comments later and do this. Iron Mountain, Michigan. We're at Tina. And again, when I get back home, I will fill in all the information for you. Um, this will be going to YouTube along with my other videos. If you're watching this video right now and you're live with me, research my name on YouTube. You will find every video that I've posted of these panhandlers, and I call them professional. They are professional panhandlers. They know what they're doing. They know uh, where to go. They know the Walmarts are the place to be, and they keep taking advantage of people like us. Oh, I'm going to get the license plate number before they leave. I'm not worried about it right now. I'm still enjoying the fact that this guy uh, playing guitar hasn't seen the back of my van yet, or back of my vehicle. Brittany, I've been telling people for a while, watch them. Do not give them money right away. Sit back and watch them. Like I said, this, this guy stands out a little differently being that he plays guitar. But, but, <laughs> yeah, but. What is uh, what have we learned in the last few days? I mean, he did say that those uh, panhandlers up the road, he brought them here. And that they weren't getting a ride unless they gave him 20 bucks. Lee, the cops have been coming out every single time, but there's nothing they can do unless uh, they've been told to leave or, you know, whatever it is. I gotta get out and take a picture of my back of my vehicle on this. Try not to intrude, like I said. I know most of the Iron Mountain police around here. In fact, I know a lot of the police around here. Um, they know who I am. I've always tried not to be trouble. I try not to post anything negative about them because uh, I support the police. I don't know how many of you have seen any of my vehicles. The blue line that is across my back windshield. That is in support of fallen police officers, uh, specifically uh, Jennifer Sabina, uh, Officer Burkholtz. Uh, there's, there's, there's just so many different officers around the country that uh, I've been part of. Um, just many functions that, uh, yeah. Anyway, so I, I support the police 100%. There's a lot of... Uh, there's a lot of people that are haters right now, and uh, we need to flip that back around, so. I think Walmart absolutely 100% should allow this um, to happen. I think they should allow people to park like they do. Whatever, however, I think Walmart should charge $5 a night and get their information on record. Because that way, when this happens, they can blacklist them. They can alert other Walmarts of people like this so that when they show up at their Walmart and they give them their $5 and they sign up their information, that Walmart will see 
that they had panhandled somewhere else and they do not allow them. So take that for how you will. Man, my, my mouth is so dry. I left the house. I did not take money or anything to drink, not even a water bottle. Hey, if somebody wants to buy me some water and bring it to me, that'd be great. <laughs> so anyway, guys, hey, no joke. The other day when I chased uh, that guy that was uh, hooking up to his camper, not even a joke, I'm at the gas station, going to insert my credit card because I just had a few dollars uh, on my credit card. I figured, hey, that'll be enough to get me off the fumes. And if you watch that video, I was on fumes. The guy at the pump next to me hands me five bucks and says, here, put that in your gas tank for chasing these panhandlers. I thought that was pretty funny. Um, I put it in my tank and definitely agreed to take it because uh, I'm not, I'm not bad, you know. I'll take it. I'm not that way. Thank you, Donna. Absolutely, Walmart can do something about this without stopping it. Um. There's a great video on YouTube, um, the making of the ghost ship. When I recorded that video last year of the ghost ship on Lake Superior, I was taking Kevin B. Klein. He is a singer from downstate. We went up to Houghton, Hancock area, and we could not find a room. We couldn't find anything. We went to Walmart. We were going to sleep there with our bedding because they allowed it. However, we decided we went to a wayside instead, but it's... Uh, it was pretty cool that uh, Walmart allowed that. We learned that, but uh... no, they won't do a thing unless Walmart um, sends somebody out here and tells them to get off the property. Patrice, I don't know why the cops are here. No idea. No idea. I would assume somebody called them. Maybe Walmart did. I really don't know. Like I said, at this point, I'm just going to continue documenting every single one I see. We're going to post them to Facebook. We're going to post them to YouTube. And I want people to tell me, where have you seen them before? What Walmart have they been to before? What city have they been to before? He, he mentioned Appleton. He said he's going to Kalamazoo. Well, if you just came here from Appleton and you're going across Lake Michigan... Why would you want to go over the Mackinac Bridge? Or up the long way? I mean, honestly, I would just go down. I'm thinking I would want to go downstate and, you know, uh-oh, something's up. Cop is backing up, pointing to him, hand on his gun. Cop has his hand on his gun. for backup what do we got here guys I don't know about you but my heart's beating right now whatever he heard on his radio just now uh, made them tense up big time Nicole just posted they were just in Rhinelander she didn't see it personally They've got him in a position right now. I'm guessing a warrant, maybe? I can tell you if they have a warrant, they're going through that, that camper. I guarantee it. And I mean a warrant for his arrest, not like anything else. Yes, this is better than cops. Somebody, so I saw that post before. Teresa's watching. Hi, Teresa.
yeah, I'm not really sure what, that just creeped me out just the way, because I watched the shorter officer with, uh, I can't even think what his name is right now, but the way he backed up and uh, his hand on his on his gun and just backed up, uh, that was a little alarming. And just the way they uh, positioned themselves uh, at that moment, that was, uh, yeah, I don't know what's up, but they got something going on here. I cannot zoom in on live. Uh, you, YouTube, I can. If I was streaming on YouTube, I could right now. Oh, he's killing me. He's going to take a drink. Oh, I'm so thirsty right now. Oh, comes the wallet. He must have been fighting, giving up his idea. Donna, there are two officers here. Two officers. Including uh, a canine, I think, sitting in that car right there. I'm not very sure. That is a female, yes. Just came out of the camper. She's pregnant. That's what he said. Yes, Christopher, somebody bring me water. Come on. <laughs> I've had a bunch of people tell me I should create a GoFundMe account and uh, collect money mm -hmm. to chase panhandlers. I actually looked on there and... Uh, <laughs> Um, I don't think I would qualify just because of the so many regulations that they have <clears throat> that uh, around what you can raise money for and I don't think that would qualify as uh, as that you know what I'm saying so <laughs> if it's yeah somebody also told me to start my donation on my page I have to be a nonprofit organization or have a nonprofit organization in order to collect money in that sort of fashion as well for Facebook so there's not really a way to do it I mean I could I could you know private message me or something and meet me or whatever you want to do that way but uh, as far as creating a fund online it's just it's not feasible and and I don't They're talking about the other two people now. He looks a little uh, flustered. Oh, I bet you he doesn't have a license. Well, guys, later on, I like so I'm filming this on my oh, well, duh. Hey, maybe I should take this actual camera I have and take a picture, hey? <laughs> I'll tell you what. Ever since I got this phone and this uh, the camera that's on the phone, I have absolutely uh, totally forgotten that I have a big camera anymore because. A lot of the time, it's just so much easier to use this camera, to use my camera on my phone, rather than it is to use a, uh, uh, to use it, you know, the big one. So <clears throat> he he's looking at me. I didn't call the police, buddy. It wasn't me. I'm not the one who did it. Somebody uh, parking next to me over here watching the action. I think. <clears throat> How you doing? Oh, just another routine panhandler. Just another routine panhandler. Who are you or that guy? Oh, that guy. Oh. I got 250 people watching live right now. Oh, do you? Oh, YouTube? Oh, yeah. Well, Facebook. Oh, Facebook. This is the third time that I've uh, gone live with panhandlers in the last four days here. Is that his normal? 
Mm -hmm. It sounds to me like he doesn't have a license and the cops won't let him back near it. Something. I have a feeling I'm going to watch somebody get arrested here in a minute. <laughs> yeah, he's in the wrong place to be fucking... Panhandling, right? Mm -hmm. He said Wait. he... He said, he said he just traveled up through Wisconsin, stopped in Appleton. He's coming here, but he's going to Kalamazoo, Michigan. Well, you can panhandle. Though. Right. Yeah. But you can't fucking ask more than once, I guess. I don't know. Well, see, I like to record these people and post and then find out where they've been the last week. The yeah. last two people I did that to, we've tracked them all the way back to Minnesota, Wisconsin. Yeah. So, it's just kind of weird. It's just fucked up now. It is, isn't it? Can't get a fucking job anywhere well, actually, in the town here, we got quite a few places hiring. Oh, is it? Quite a few, yeah. Right. Everybody wants to be handed everything. Everybody he's feels out, entitled, right? He's out of Idaho. Right? Yeah, he's out of Idaho. We had one guy out of uh, um, Arizona. We had another one out of uh, uh, Tennessee. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> well, alright. Yipper, so I'm just sitting as Irving. <laughs> yeah. I just bought that thing the other day. I'm still trying to get used to it. It's pretty long. Well. Hey, you have yourself a good day, eh? YouTube thing. I've been watching all these Oh, I, I, I post them to YouTube, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're up to 350 viewers now. Thanks, guys. Keep hitting that share button. We're in Iron Mountain, Michigan, at Walmart. Not sure what's going to happen, but... Uh, I think it's pretty cool. you got grip on your steering wheel, man. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, otherwise, if I'm driving, I could either clip it up here or maybe throw it up on the dash somewhere. And, Try to keep it as much hands free now as I can because I don't want to. I don't want to get a ticket. Yeah, right. But uh, yeah, they give you one too. Absolutely. I've been watching all these YouTube videos. All these guys, are constitutionalists and all that shit, they're funny, man. Right. And exactly. You no, I ain't giving you no ID. I don't have to give you ID. Yeah, exactly. If you're a public servant. You work for me. I don't work for you. <laughs> I'm going to you. Some, you know, some of them are the right, and other times yeah. they're they're not, you know. Well, I haven't been willing to test that theory yet. No, not me, ne me neither. I don't. But I uh, watched some guy. Uh, I don't know where the hell he was at. Well, he must not have much too much of a fear because he just walked back in the camper. So. Well, I watched this guy. Some lawyer was. Jesus Christ! He was talking for like forty-five minutes. And these claims you don't have to have a driver's license, and you don't, I guess, according to the Constitution, you know. Yeah, the, yeah. along the sovereign laws and yeah. stuff. Well, a lot of people well, don't. If well, he said he's never had one, and he had this paper. And he had it laminated, but he passed it out in the audience there, you know. And he got pulled over. The first time he got pulled over was in 1983. He didn't have a license. So the copper in the ticket for not having a license. He went to court and beat it. Mm. Then he got this paper saying that he didn't have to have a license. So he said he, um, he, said he got pulled I've, over. I've heard that a lot. Yeah. I've looked at it a lot, and uh, I don't know. Well, he it's says just... the only... The, in the, Constitution. the downside would be you would never be able to collect Social Security or disability or collect anything well, from the government because you're not claiming you're well, from the government anymore. So well, no, he's from the, no, he's from the government because this guy's a lawyer. But he right. said uh, in the Constitution it says the only thing that you had to have a license or a permit for was if you were in doing commerce. Right. So I drive truck. He says so if you're a truck driver or whatever, he said you have yep. to have a license. But he said if you've never had a license, he's emptying all his pockets right now. Normally, a person that empties their pockets is getting ready to go to jail. Maybe got one of Or maybe the camper doesn't have uh, license plates or something. I don't know. But anyway, but according to that guy, you didn't have to have one. Right. He said, now, if you went and got one, now you have to have one. He said, but if you never got one, then... Uh... So this guy asked him in the audience, he started taking questions. The guy said, well, how did you know not to get one? He said, because my dad was a lawyer, too. <laughs> <laughs> he said, so I never got a license. And he got, first time he said he got stopped in 83 and he took it to court. And he was a lawyer then, he said he took it to court. Made a fool out of the judge and then he got that paper. Hmm. And he said, I've been pulled over twice since and I handed that to the cop. <laughs> you know? hmm. And then there was another one, some black guy in California and they had, they had about, there was about 14 cop cars. They had a whole, they had a whole street closed. And uh, he was one of those, uh, you know, not with the government, some sovereign, whatever, you know. 
sovereign citizen. Yeah, and he didn't have a he didn't have a license and he didn't have his car right. What is he saying? No matter what, this is getting towed. That's what he just said. No matter what, this is getting towed. Must not be right. But anyway, so the so this lieutenant walks up to this guy's car and he goes, "This is all right." So I get the sovereign thing and all that. And he said, "You don't need a driver's license." He said, "You're right about that." He said, "But you have to have a car registered." The guy's going, "No, you don't." He said, "Cause I can show you that in the book too." He said, "Well." As far as I know, you got to have the car registers. He said, so we're going to write a ticket through the car. So they, he's got a guy writing it on the hood of the car, and they put it underneath the windshield wiper. They wrote the ticket through the car, and <laughs> they let the guy go. <laughs> mm -mm. That sucks if he loses that camper, but that's what you get for stopping at Walmart's and Iron Mountain or anywhere. And you, you know, I, did Walmart call him because that? I think somebody did. I think as soon as they went live, somebody did. Because... Uh, because they, uh, I saw that too, where all these people are living in Walmart parking lots and shit, you know? Well, you know, Walmart's forever for allowed to campers, because if you need a secure place at night to sleep, oh, yeah. you know, they allow you to sleep here, because it's a safety thing, and it's under, it's under, cam it's under cameras, it's under lights, uh -huh. which is, I think it's cool, but what I suggest, Walmart charge a $5 fee to park overnight, and they write down your license plate number, yeah. all your information, that way if you're like this guy and you're panhandling, they got your info, right. they can blacklist you across the country. Well, the one that I saw, everybody I mean, was out west, they were like out there in Arizona and shit. You know? and, uh, yeah, these people were living there. Oh. Yeah, I don't, uh, I don't feel nothing bad for this guy. I'm, that's his fault, his shame for coming here to, uh, to do it, you know. Tow truck's here. Unable to charge battery too high. Oh, yeah, that's right. One charge of battery. I think we're good. How much money? Maybe it's not right. He said he. I wonder how long he's been here. I don't know. Huh. He says he's got 50 bucks on him. Huh. Well, when I first pulled up here, I don't know how long I've been streaming now, but when I first pulled up here, he said he had $50 on him, and he's trying to get to Kalamazoo, Michigan, downstate. Hmm. Well, 50 bucks is enough to uh, at least get to the bridge. You know. Yeah, there's a truck stop there. Or wh whatever you have to do, I mean, but the fact that you're, uh... What they tell you, you're probably going to get to that. Right. Huh. She just, he's, he's mentioning Newberry. I know somebody in Newberry. Because he said, the cop asked, do you know anybody around here? And he said, no. Didn't he just tell me a little bit ago that he has people from this area, that's why he's here? And you guys watching a while ago that just said, that was watching when he's talking to me, did he not say he was from this area? Or he knew people from this area? Because he just, he just said that he doesn't know anybody from this area, but he knows somebody that was up in Newberry. That's the tow truck behind me, by the way, if you guys hear that. I can go to Newberry if you need me. Neil says correct. Ken says yes, okay, I, I knew I heard that right. No, no, that's a, he's a, he was over here talking to me and he told me specifically I, I'm just not some random guy that showed up. I have family around here. Yeah. Well, I, everybody's like, well, if you got family, then why are you out here, you know? Where well, you live here, right? Well, why are you, why are you panhandling if you got family? Can't they help you? Oh, so I like to record them. I can, I can legally record a person in the state of Michigan as long as I know they're being recorded and if, as long as I am in the room or in the same room. People don't know laws about that, but I know plenty of laws. And just like he tried to tell me that nobody could film him or uh, take his picture without his permission because blah blah blah. And I'm like, dude. Oh, he came over and talked to you. Yeah. Oh. If he even played a song for me. Oh, was that before the concert? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Can't towing me. No, not towing me. 
Oh, I take that back. I absolutely take that back. It's a different vehicle being towed in the parking lot here. I know I heard the cops say that that one's being towed. I know I heard them say it. <clears throat> no, there's a rollback behind me and he's actually he's putting a Chevy truck up on the rollback. I thought he was here for this guy. I was like, man, that was pretty fast service. I guess I'm gonna go park and get a spot. Right? He might need more room, right? Maybe, I don't know what he does, yeah. I'm gonna sit here and hope somebody brings me something to drink soon. <laughs> Tyler, I don't know. I don't think so. I just heard something about, well, whatever what, nobody's taking the camper, it's being towed or something like that. I don't think any of these guys have a driver's license to be driving it. Yeah, that's kind of what I was looking for. Yeah, you know what, it sucks they're gonna be walking now, but you know what? They should have left a while ago uh, when they had the chance. That's funny. I think the guy has a bottle of water in his truck. He might get it to me. That's cool. Jason, the other two guys with him claimed they were supposed to be going to Green Bay, and then they said they were going to Mackinac City. Huh. Why would you go to Green Bay and then back up? That wouldn't make any sense now, would it? Considering he just told me that he uh, was trying to get to Kalamazoo and came from Appleton. Now that doesn't make any sense. I have not talked to the cops. I have not called the cops. They just pulled up while I was sitting here live streaming. My intention for this point forward is to live stream every single panhandler I see to share them with people like you to find out where they've been and where they're going to. Because I think the more people that watch and the more people that see these people and hear about the places they've been, maybe they'll think before they give money to these people because Clarissa, I need water. I meant to grab, I, I got my water bottle sitting at home on, on my desk. I bailed out of the house after my phone dinged about a hundred times and phew. I am so dehydrated. Somebody's waving, walking in front of me. Of course. Well, I think his sign, from what I understand, the sign said out of gas. When he came up to me, he told me he had 50 bucks on him and he turned to Kalamazoo. The two guys up the road, did you see them? They're up, they were up at the other stop sign that he brought them and dropped them off and said that uh, they had to make 20 bucks each before he'd give them a ride to the next place. Oh. And uh, the police pulled up and next thing you know, I heard him say something like, uh, well, this RV isn't going anywhere. Oh. You guys are walking or something to that extent. Cool. Yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah, I've, just today I've gotten 15. They stopped after I went live. I said I got a live stream here. Now we're at 266 watching. It's funny because as soon as I pulled into the lot, I eyeballed this camper and they were walking across from that way back this way, and I was like, huh. I think they were standing up by the corner uh, all by themselves. Oh, no, no. <laughs> That's what I thought at first, too. No, so. I'm Dave Atmire. I appreciate it, man. Dave, you said it right? Yep. Big thanks to Dave and everybody else, I guess, who was uh, again sending me messages. People are finally starting to see. I mean, I, last year, year before, I think a lot of people thought I was being really mean to these people, but uh, um, starting to see repeat yeah. businesses, repeat customers coming through. And someone should get take the gas can and go get them, uh, 
I get on the gas pump for a oh, like pound bacon chew in it. <laughs> that's what somebody else says, and I was like, yeah. I said that on the yeah, that's, that's, that's almost mean, because then damn, they'll, then they will be stranded. Like these guys now, I like, got, uh, they're going to be stranded here, and now they'll be sitting here for the next, you know, weeks, uh, putting the thumb out, hitchhiking. You're like, well, buddy, the bus station's down the street. Buses come in at about, what, 2 in the morning? 5 in the morning? Well, three or four picked up my girlfriend's family for a couple of years ago. <laughs> in <Lower> Michigan. <laughs> Clarissa says, I got beer. Want a beer? <laughs> oh, gosh. No, um, interesting. Like I said, I they pulled up with a canine, and I'm like, oh, please take a dog through there. I want to see this with a guy. He specifically told me I'm not. I don't do drugs, and I'm not that type of people. But you were in Grateful Dead, just saying. Just saying. Just saying. I was I was a Dead fan once. I know all about that. He might be a Deadhead, you know, and travel across the country and concert to concerts and. What is oh yeah, you guys were asking about the tag. The tag right there is Idaho. Eight. B as in boy. Five. One. Two. Two. Oh my God, what is that? Is that last one? What is that? A W and M? Or a K? I have to take a picture with my, my big camera here. It's a K. It's an M. Holy mackerel. This dude's got to go get more glasses and better ones because my boy's right. I can't see. Oh, yeah. It's an M. You know, ever since I bought this phone here, I've forgotten about my big one. <laughs> I mean, it takes really nice cameras. And what I found out is a lot of people who take pictures with their cell phones, if you look at it on your computer monitor, it sucks. But if you look at it on your cell phone, it's yeah. an awesome picture. They make a lens that goes on a cell phone now. The, the zoom, yeah. I got one at home. I, got, I just, uh, it's really, uh, it, it takes a little bit to get it exactly right. And uh, I told, if I was on YouTube, I could zoom in. But this one, this video, I'll take home. I'll uh, download it and uh, on my computer, and then I'll go ahead and edit it. Because uh, he's playing music, I have a feeling I'm going to have to remove that music just because uh, oh. copyright issues and... What are you waiting for? I don't know. Boat truck maybe? Maybe. I'm going to sit here until uh, the police leave or the camper gets towed or whatever is happening. That's uh... Poor guy still doesn't know I'm live streaming I don't think. You should go invite him over. He came over here twice. He came over and talked to me. He could have looked up at the phone. And Did you see the back of my vehicle? Yeah. He, he never looked. So. Those of you just joining us, Walmart, Iron Mountain, Michigan. I got numerous messages. They were holding signs out. Panhandling here again. Third time somebody's, actually fourth time. There was somebody here last night. I did not get to him in time. They were panhandling. They dropped off two people next to the bank in front of uh, Tractor Supply and told them they needed to raise $20 each if they wanted to continue traveling with them. And they said they're traveling to Kalamazoo, Michigan. However, if you watch or if you uh, watch this whole video through, you'll learn that uh, in the comments, read the comments, somebody said those other two people, Diane Eagle, they were in Escanaba. Are you kidding me, Diane? These guys were in Escanaba. See you later. Hey, see you later. Bye. Talk to me, Diane. Are you seriously? These people were specifically in Escanaba. Because he just told me that he was going to Kalamazoo. Well, I'll tell you what. Again, I don't want to say nothing bad about campers, but it appears to me that campers are bad luck. They run out of gas and they don't go the right direction. I don't know why buy, why people buy campers. Why would you buy a camper if it runs out of gas and it doesn't keep direction? Just saying. Diane Eagle says, yes, a couple of days ago they were in Escanaba, Michigan. 
Brittany, if somebody will pay me some money, buy my gas to get there, I will do it 100%. I will come out there today. I don't have the gas money to do it. People tell me to get a job. This is my job. YouTube is my job. I make money on YouTube posting videos. That is my job. The fact is, I have done this for so long in this city that I cannot get a job in this city, period. It's a fact. I'm a liability. I understand that. I know that. I did it to myself. I'm a liability. That's why I can't get a job in, in this city. I've tried. I've got friends that uh, uh, hire me out. I, I cut the grass. I got a lady in Quinnisac. I cut the grass every few weeks for her. Charge her 20 bucks. Actually, I had 25 bucks. And, uh, yeah, so Brittany, in order to collect money on my Facebook page, I have to be 501, whatever, nonprofit, whatever, so I can. So, like I said, somebody locally here today want to chip uh, 20 bucks or something to me, I will drive to Escanaba this afternoon and uh, go find them because I'm sick of this shit. I'm tired of it. I've uh, kind of devoted myself to this. I enjoy making content. I'd rather be filming waterfalls in Upper Michigan. I'd rather be showing you places that you should go see. And and there's so much to see and so much beauty. And right now, this just rips me apart. Because there's such a need right now in the Cowper country. <laughs> yeah, you know, that just rips my heart apart thinking about that. There is a large need. I've been talking with uh, um, Eldon Roshan. He's been doing so much helping off the Copper Country. And we've all agreed that they still need water. We don't care what the local officials, county officials up in Houghton say. They still need water. People are getting sick. People are getting sick drinking the water because the water has now drained down into the wells. And if people there do not test their wells, they will they, they could potentially get sick. People are swimming in lakes and they're getting sick. Torch Lake. Is, is that what what is that that lake up there? Torch Lake, is that what that's called? Uh, along 26. Back in May they discovered a very large area of asbestos in the ground, and they were telling people not to walk down that side of the road, don't go anywhere near where all this asbestos was buried. And the floods washed it out into the lake. I, I, do I really need to say anything more? I mean, I, I'm just sick to my stomach. Thinking about people in need in Upper Michigan and people like this are scamming those of us that are good hearted. Don't give these people money. Give to a good cause. Give to people who need it. And damn, somebody give me some damn water. <laughs> I'm so thirsty. I don't know. I'm I'm gonna sit here and go until e until something happens. Uh, If he gets arrested, I would ask that the caring house, would somebody call the caring house and uh, come down here and grab this girl? She, uh, she's pregnant. I don't think she's gonna have any place to go and I honestly, I feel very sorry for her. Iron Mount, Michigan. Like I said, I feel pretty sorry for her, but... Oh, lady, you're parked right in my way. Yeah, guys, I'm not even joking. I mean, seriously, uh... Somebody call the caring house right now and ask them if uh, they could do something for her. Come pick her up.
I mean, I uh, I have compassion. I'm not I'm not that way. I have absolute compassion. So he's being arrested there. Those of you on uh, mobile patrol here soon will know who he is. Like I said, man, it sucks, but uh, who knows what this guy, what is he wanted for? That's what I like to know. Maybe he's wanted somewhere for murder. I don't know. But I know that, uh, yes, he is now cuffed. He is placed, being placed under arrest for whatever reason, but uh, all right, I'm just readjusting on my steering wheel here. I should have never taken it off because I can't keep her tight now. Big, 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 uh, big, big tow truck here now for the camper. L.R. Vincent. Yeah, she is crying. I know, guys. You know, I know. It just, I don't know. I... A lot of people fake it. Those are real tears. She's pregnant, and please God, I, I, please God, don't let her be on drugs right now because uh, people on drugs and being pregnant, I, I, then then I, I'll lose all compassion and all faith in humanity because you know exactly, Lynn. He's being taken away, he's handcuffed, he's been arrested. She's uh, on her own here. Like I said, somebody please call the Caring House right now. Got a lot of people watching. I know there's plenty of locals, call the Caring House. She needs a place to go. I mean, even if she is fully scammed and knows, you know, and obviously she knows, but even if she is part of it, the baby doesn't deserve that. The baby doesn't deserve that. Chris, I, I don't know. I don't I, I don't know. Sadly, after I leave, I have to remove myself from trying to think about it. Again, my uh, my sadness comes because of a baby being involved. That's where my sadness is. It's not it's not for her, it's not for him, it's for that baby in her belly. Leah, if you once you watch this whole video entirely, anybody watching right now, wait until the video's over, watch it all the way through. Listen to the guy when he comes over here and he talks to me and tells me where he's going and where he's been. Read through the comments and find out where he's been because he was just in Escanaba two days ago. But he just told me he came from Appleton and he's headed to Kalamazoo downstate. He says he's from this area and has family around here but told the officer he has no family so people want to lie and collect money panhandling on the side of the street and not tell the truth about where they've been where they're from or where they're going or what they've done I don't have compassion and I'm not going to help you I'm just going to take your picture I'm going to show everybody what you're driving I'm going to ask them to share the video. I'm going to ask them to please post where they've been and to keep your eye out and to watch people to know that this happens all over the country. Professional panhandlers at Walmart taking advantage of Walmart and taking advantage of the people around Walmart. Everybody says let this happen. Everybody says if people are stupid enough to give let them give no what if it's your grandma what if grandma comes to Walmart and she says oh 
these poor people they ran out of gas but I gave them the last hundred dollars I had and 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 now they're you know my god how many grandmas have done that thank you Teresa thank you Teresa I know, I know you did like I said I, I just I have faith that uh, Iron Mountain, they're, they're not going to leave her out here in 90 degree heat. They're not going to, uh, I, I don't know how hard it is. I'm, I'm cooking here. I could be sitting here uh, wasting gas running the AC, but I, I'm not. Carol, I propose, and uh, you know what? I want to, I, I want to make, I want to make a petition. I want to petition Walmart to change their policies. I want to petition Walmart I don't, I don't care if they charge a dollar to park overnight. I want them to start taking registrations to park in their lots overnight. <laughs> Teresa, quick, send my wife a message. Tell her I'm live streaming and uh, I can't answer right now. That just totally lost focus. Did I mention I'm thirsty? You wonder if she really is. She looks pregnant from here. She got the, she got the bubble. Like I said again, either she's a really good actor or she knows how to cry. But her uh, her face is flushed. Um, she's definitely stressing. She's uh, crying. Walmart, yes, Walmart. Walmart needs to charge one dollar. Maybe, maybe a one-time fee. One-time fee of a dollar. So they charge this one-time fee of a dollar. They take a registration of their vehicle that you're driving. They get your information, and then every time that you go to Walmart, wherever it is, say you go to Houghton and you want to register because you're going to sleep overnight, but you've already registered, say, in Iron Mountain. You could go to Houghton and say, hey, um, maybe give them a card. Here's my card, and uh, I'm registering to sleep at night. Well, they can just check their computers, do a quick search, and say, okay, um, you're good to go. Or they might come back and say, you know what? Um, we've had you flagged that you've been panhandling at past Walmarts, and you've been blacklisted. Go somewhere else. Again, those, I apologize. We are in Iron Mountain, Michigan. Uh, when this video is totally done and complete, I will have the absolute description filled in. The title will be filled in. I'll have a good screenshot. And this will be on YouTube by this afternoon. Panhandling is not illegal. Panhandling is not illegal. Nor, yes I do, Gary, nor is filming in public and I consider this to be very public. I don't care if it's Walmart's property. Absolutely, it's legal, no ordinance to get it against it. They can only leave, technically, you know what? Walmart could walk up to me and tell me to leave right now. And I would, I would go right across the street and go sit somewhere else in park, because uh, I know my rights. I'm just trying to warn these people that, uh... all right, I don't know about you, but I love watching big trucks uh, and tow trucks. And... He's going to need to put that down just a little lower. He's going to hit, I think. But then again, he knows what he's doing. Somebody says they're at mobile. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I, I should be laughing. <clears throat> so a little update: the driver was arrested. The the male that was here. Thank you, Teresa. The driver was just arrested. He will be on mobile patrol shortly. So those of you on mobile patrol can do that. I choose not to be on mobile patrol and I'll tell you why because they ask you for permission to access all of your photos and your video 
anything, anytime, which I am, why would I want them, to, I don't know, call me a conspiracy theorist, I don't really care, I just, uh, that kind of thing just freaks me out a little bit, but, so there's a Walmart employee to my left right now, there's a guy out here, and he's fairly nicely dressed, he's been kind of eyeballing me too, I suspect that, uh, you know what, I want to go talk to this Walmart employee, but I don't want to film them, so I'll be right back. I'm going to propose this idea. I was just kicked out of Walmart. So, just to give you a heads up, since I am being uh, removed from Walmart, uh, that guy right there, I'll get a close with him later, just told me to move. They, uh, they say that I broke the rules because I am filming from Walmart. And that I, uh, let me put my seatbelt on here, because I told him, you know what, that's fine. Walmart supports this. Walmart is okay with them sitting in their parking lot and they say they've been doing everything that I should know the rules and that the next time that I see this, I need to report that to them, that I don't need to take action, that they don't need my help. Since when is Walmart concerned about this damn city or anybody else? You know what, I'm sick of this shit now. Really, Walmart, you wanna kick me off of your property? Do you own this property? Do you own the street that runs through here? Who owns that street? You tell me that. So you want a nice view, Walmart, and you want some nice publicity. Well, you just got it. 
absolutely 100%. Walmart, you just lost 100% of my goddamn business. I am not paying another damn cent to Walmart. Boycott their ass. Really? I wish I would have live streamed what he just told me. I walked over and proposed what my idea. You know what he told me? That son of a bitch. You know what he actually told me? <laughs> oh my God. He said, you're from this area. You know all about filming in Walmart. And I said, I, yeah. I said, most people don't like it. And they don't, they, and oftentimes when people film in Walmart, you guys tell them right away to stop filming. I said, I've been live streaming this whole time. Had, did you come out here and tell me? No, he didn't. He never came over to my vehicle to tell me to stop live streaming. He told me uh, after I walked up on him that I knew the rules and at that point he was telling me that I needed to stop live streaming and he did not, I did not have his permission to be filming on Walmart property. He said that Walmart is taking steps to take care of this in the future and that they know that there's a problem. When I went on to say that, uh, um, when I went on to say that I have been, that the last few people I have tracked them hundreds of miles at every single Walmart from here to there. He says, that's not my problem. And he said, that's not, that's not his problem. And that's not anybody's problem. Nobody brought me water yet. <laughs> Screw Walmart. Screw Walmart. I don't need your damn permission to film. I don't need your permission to film panhandlers. I will stand on that damn access road right here and I'll film from there. I'll go stand on US 2. I'll film from there. Oh yeah, they don't let you film in Walmart, uh, uh, specifically on their property. That's funny, because he said to me, well, obviously you know that you can't film on Walmart property, because you just told me. And I looked at him and said, I hope you just recorded that, because, did I? No, obviously I know that, but you know what? I also know that anytime you film on Walmart property, uh, they kick you out, so screw them. I honestly hope that after this video and all the shit I got to say about Walmart in Iron Mountain, Michigan, that they do serve me and kick me out because I don't want to give them no more money. Screw that. There's enough damn places around here to shop. I don't need Walmart. That, that just tells me that Walmart supports people like this. Walmart is okay with people camping in their parking lot and taking advantage of their customers. Oh, absolutely. Until that camper is gone and the squad cars leave, I'm not going anywhere. I just, I'm so flustered right now. I, I just, I, I honestly thought when I walked up until Walmart about my idea about charging a dollar for it, that he snapped on me and said, well, well, perhaps before you give me any ideas, you should know the policies at Walmart. We don't allow filming. Before you, before you have ideas about Walmart, you should know this. Screw you, buddy. Screw you and, uh, I, it's, no, I, I was gonna say your family, but you know what, I don't know your family. They're probably awesome people. You probably have kids. I just, it irritates the piss out of me and damn. Yeah, they thank you for the wall of free advertising until somebody watches this video or they see the title. I'm gonna come up with a nice, pretty, pretty title. Just, what a horrendous dick. That ah, got his nice picture. I'm gonna get out and make sure he knows I'm taking his picture. I like that when people are fucking nervous around me. Excuse my language, but I'm pissed. That lady standing there from Walmart, she's told him that I was screaming at somebody in a camper the other day running at them and that I was the problem she the, the one I have panhandling was not the problem I mean seriously you're gonna tell me that I was the problem hey you guys watch that video I literally walked up to them they threw a five gallon gas can container into into the uh, um side of the camper the driver took off with the door still open kids in the back nobody seat belted obviously but I was the problem I understand I get it 
Anyway, uh, Walmart, uh, that, that manager Weber says he did take a picture of the back of my vehicle. He does have all of my information and that uh, he didn't say that I was permanently kicked off, but he did tell me that he was telling me to stop filming. So I will take that as they don't no longer want my business and they don't want anything from me. Oh, I don't need medical issues. Yesterday, uh, I was in Tickville for about four hours. Uh, we hiked, oh God, I don't know, probably about five miles up and down uh, from uh, the elevation we're at now to about 1,500 feet. Um, I'm, I might smoke cigarettes and I'm a little uh, a little out of breath at times and I get, do get you know issues that way but as far as being healthy and in shape I, I think I'm fairly in shape 20 years ago I, I used to run uh, a 5k every day um, I wish I could my knees are bad and I, I can't run like I used to and I enjoy run I mean I, I tell my kids now they should run and uh, it gives you time to think it it gives you time to uh, process your thoughts it gives you ideas it it really helps you in life um, running jogging and uh, exercising and uh, I wish I could run but I can't anymore and if I could run again I would quit smoking not even joking I uh, God yeah Sorry guys, language, yes, language, I know, I know. I'm getting your messages and guys, I, I, I'm being live streaming, I, I can't, uh, I can't read messages, I'm trying to catch up in your comments, my mouth is so dry right now because nobody's brought me water. <laughs> don't understand my biggest fear is I've said this before my biggest fear is these people are gonna wind up in Houghton I'm glad they didn't I think a, a week now later where we're good to go but I was afraid some of these people might go up to Houghton and try to say that they were out camping in a remote location and they lost everything and oh my god we need help and I'm just tired of people taking advantage of of anybody I'm tired of people taking advantage of everyone I'm just tired of that crap and people need to see it people to know need to know what's happening and people need to spread it people need to understand that this is this is happening there is organized panhandling taking place in this country and I wish somebody would take I wish a damn news agency nearby would actually pick up on this what video would you want what do you want to know watch any of my videos and read the comments you'll, you'll see where these people have been I'm a stubborn old man I'm gonna sit here until I absolutely can't talk anymore I'm gonna sit here until my voice crackles to get my point across I'm gonna sit here until I get kicked off of this property too and then I'll just go home and uh, I'll drink my water there like I said you guys are proposing me to one unit. I'll come to Escanaba right now today and do this. My wife probably won't go for that, but I will if somebody wants to pay my gas money, somebody locally, I'll, uh, I will definitely uh, go there right now. Caring House is aware. Thank you, Teresa. What is the YouTube? Shaw, uh, Steven, search my name. Search my name, and as many people call me an ass, I'm sorry if that's a bad language, bad, bad word. As many people call me that, look up Jason ass, and I guarantee you, my face will be right up on top. I absolutely 100% guarantee you. There goes the camper, and the cops are leaving now. And uh, guess what? That will end my video. And uh, I already saw somebody was bringing me water. I'll sit here for a few minutes and. Uh, I will gladly take one and I will thank you for that but after that I'll be leaving and uh, going home downloading this or uploading whatever it is I always get them mixed up and uh, it's, it's it'll be up on YouTube uh, in a few hours again I don't feel proud about uh, doing it 
I would much rather them just uh, gone on down the road. But from this point forward, I can no longer sit on Walmart property and film. I understand that. That's fine. If you don't want me to uh, take care of this problem that Walmart won't take care of and Walmart supports and Walmart is allowing to happen on their property, fine. Walmart, you just lost my business. Absolutely lost my business. And I I'm sorry to you guys that I didn't bring my phone over there and live stream for what he said. But I honestly thought I would give them that I, I would give them that 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 I wanted to talk to them one on one not on camera not in front of anybody not not recorded and propose to them to charge one dollar one time fee for campers to park in their lots one time fee and uh, he told me to get lost and that I need to learn their policies before I come up with ideas no sign of the other two guys I, I don't know, uh, I don't know, uh, Vincent told it, Schultz, uh, Lynn, Vincent. Oh, I'm just, I'm just so irritated right now. I'm just so mad. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what I expected Walmart officials to say, but they could have, uh, they could have said that quite differently than they did. So... that is the end of that video guys if you're still here now you saw and heard exactly what that guy who was just arrested had to say to me you heard his story if you read through the comments you will learn that uh, he was just in uh, Escanaba a few days ago contrary to what they just told us to what he told me that they were coming from Appleton going to uh, downstate Michigan Kalamazoo and again share this video get it out there professional panhandling is something real it's really happening I'm not just seeing it I'm not imagining it this isn't a dream this is reality it's a nightmare thanks for watching everybody have a great day hit me up see them tag me to it send me a message let's stop this right now Stop feeding the bears.